Hello, welcome to Spurred On. I'm Rhys James. You should know me by now. I'm annoyed if you don't. I'm very insulted. It is mid to late January. The transfer window has been open for ages and we still haven't signed a striker. And I'm going to wager that by the point this video comes out, we still won't have even by then. Unbelievable. So what I thought I'd do is I'd give Poch a little hint. Right, he can watch this video and he can get some tips, he can get some advice. Same with you, Levy. I'm going to go through my top five Tottenham transfer targets that are strikers that are realistic. In at number five, it is Loic Remy from Chelsea. Now, rumours have been flying around about him, about us maybe getting him on loan for the rest of the season. Uh, Chelsea apparently now looking at Berahino. They're going to nick him off us because we're not interested anymore because of Jeremy Peace, the asshole. So now Loic Remy seems like a fairly realistic target for us. Maybe not that realistic because we know that he's probably not going to sell it to a rival like Spurs. That said, we're not in a relegation battle, so we're not really rivals with them anymore. And also that said, they did sell Czech to Arsenal. So who knows? Maybe that's a good option. Loic Remy, I'd love you at the lane. Please come. If we share Wembley, maybe you can play for both of us. Who knows? In at number four is Jackson Martinez from Atletico Madrid. Now, reportedly, we offered 30 million euros for the guy and they turned it down, which is a surprise to me because he's not been great at Atletico and Diego Simeone has a habit of selling players who are flopping quite quickly. However, he did do amazingly at Porto. He got 92 goals in 132 games. He's quite powerful, he's strong and he's sharp. He's perfectly suited for the Premier League. I'd love him at Spurs. Come over. In at number three, it is Sandro. No, not the beast, not Lamella's best mate. I'm talking Sandro Ramirez, the Barcelona striker. Now, he has a buyout of 8.8 .8 million. We could easily activate that clause. Uh, however, Barca want to put a buyback clause into his contract. And obviously, Daniel Levy, being the swindler that he is, is not willing to do that. He wants to make his money back minimum doubled. Uh, however, Barca want to get Nelito from Celta Vigo. And they're more likely to use um, this Sandro Ramirez guy as some sort of bargaining chip in their pursuit of Nelito. Fairly unrealistic. Wouldn't mind him though, who knows. In at number two is Iose Perez. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Emma, Jack and Craig told me that's how you say it. Iose Perez from Newcastle. Uh, he got the winner in a 2-1 uh, victory over us earlier this season in his audition to play for Spurs. He has said himself that he knows that United and Tottenham are interested in him. It's probably unrealistic. They are in a relegation battle. They're not going to get rid of some of their star players who can score and do the business for them. However, they do want Andres, Andros Townsend from us for some reason. Who knows why? And they're probably not going to pay the 14 million maybe we could offer Townsend and like 30 million and get Perez because Townsend for me is a minus figure uh, who knows maybe he could come to the lane I'd love to have him here uh, he'd be good backup for Harry Kane he'd never start unless Kane needs a rest but he can get the goals as we've seen at White Hart Lane he's comfortable in our ground who knows? In at number one is Wissam Ben Yedda from Toulouse. Apparently, we offered 6.1 million for the guy and got it rejected because they want 7.5 million. And that is in our price range. So that's not unrealistic. He's meant to be the next Jermaine Defoe. He's five foot seven. He's nippy. He's banging in the goals. He'd be perfect to Spurs. He's got a few FIFA inform cards this year as well. I would take him. Let's get him. Levy, if you're watching, and you should be watching because this is what the fans think, get Ben Yedda, bring him to the lane. So those are my top five Spurs January transfer targets who are strikers, who are semi-realistic. Uh, Honourable mentions go to Defoe, the Cisco years. would we'll genuinely take Defoe back uh, in his current state, which is not the Cisco years, it's the standard JD years. We'd love him back at the lane, so maybe even him. I don't want Berahino anymore, unless he does come, in which case I supported you all along. Uh, I love you. Jeremy Peace, you're a good guy. Thanks for negotiating with us. Let me know who you want. Uh, if you think any of these five options are terrible options, if you think they're unrealistic, leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll see you soon. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Tottenham Transfer Talk with me, Jack Bryden. First up tonight, 